Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about differential equations. So now I will show you how to answer. Because we have this equation equals to number 0. This is about complementary solution. So I need to put about yc equals to e to the power of lambda s. Now, if I need to do first the derivative of this one, we have lambda e to the power of lambda s. First, the derivative of this one, we keep about e to the power of lambda s. First, the derivative of lambda s, you got about lambda. Now we do second derivative. We have lambda square e to the power of lambda s. Now we need to put this one going here, and this one going here. So e to the power of lambda s, we can do about factorization. Now, we need to find the solution of this one. So I will put number 9, go to the right. And we have lambda equals to negative number 3i. This is about imaginary unit. And we have lambda equals to 3i. So after we got two solutions in here, we have the final answer. We put about C1. That is about constant number 1. E to the power of 3is. Now we need to change lambda into about 3i and negative 3i in here. And we have C number 2, e to the power of negative 3is. In this situation, we can write like this. That's about C1 cosine 3s and C2 side 3s. Now, after we got this one, we go back in here because we still have about the conditions. For the first one, that means when s equals to number 0, y equals to number 2. So now we put number 0 cone here and here. So, cosine of number 0, you got about number 1. Side of number 0, you got about 0. So, we just have only C1. And C1 equals to number 2 because we have Y equals to number 2 in here. Now, we have the next one. So, in this situation, we need to find first the derivative of this one. So, first derivative of cosine 3s, we have negative number 3, c1 side 3s plus 3 c2 cosine 3s. Now, I need to put number 0 cone here, number 0 cone here. So this one you got about 0. This one you got about number 1. So we have 3C2. This one we have number 9. 
Now, we need to divide both sides by number 3. And we got about number 3 in here. After we got C1 equals to number 2 and C2 equals to number 3. So we go back in here. So I need to put C1. That's about number 2. C2. That's about number 3. And here is about the final answer. This is the end. Thank you for watching.